So I've been going over rigging and I thought I'd just show everyone my character here. My character is already has been rigged for some time. Just thought I'd just show you. This is basically what we went over in the tutorials. You'll notice that uh, this is this is the child, or this is this is the parent. Excuse me, of this and this is the child. But I, you can still control them separately if you'd like to. Hold down on the control and shift, move it along two different axes. You'll see also that point there. That's just another basic directional thing here. There it is. Foot goal. Foot goal. So simple IK stuff. And the tail with the spline IK. Move the tail around. The spine is set up the same way. I decided to make this the parent of the hands. But again, hold down on control and you can move that independently. You'll see it moves down, it moves a point down the spine. So if I wanted to do this, I can just move her around. So I got quite a bit of control over that. And there's the hands, and you'll notice I got quite a few advanced controls on the hands just for the fingers. <coughs> Let's take a look at those. I got one outer ring that controls all the fingers. And I got a separate control for each finger. Now, don't get, uh, I guess, don't think this is too complicated. This is not very complicated at all. This, I mean, this is pretty much the same concept as, as the wrist moving that we went over go to this mode with NB notice that it twists the arm and the forearm just a little bit so not everything at once you'll notice how the elbow deforms if I take off the hypernerve you can see it there So, but I, I want to discuss, though, the fingers. How did the fingers? Let's take a look at just what makes it an espresso tag. So right now, if we go back up here to the controls, we can take a look at the espresso here. Oh, no, that's just the wrist control. That's right. The fingers are actually located in the hand bones for convenience. Let's take a look at those. Here we are. There's the thumb. Let's just take a look at the index here. Now this looks a little complicated, but it's really not. I'm going to explain it. Alright. This, this is just the inputs here to this, this joint. This is the input for the rotation of this this joint here, the mid joint, just this, the x axis, or just p. If we were to notice, we can't move it. If we were to disable this guy, then we would be able to move it. So we can see that that's moving along p. Let's just undo that. Re-enable this guy, and uh, just if you just imagine this, just take this aside. You could just straight out use the output of this, which is basically all I'm doing is basically directly taking the outputs from this control, which is just nothing but a null object, 
with the display as a circle just like we did before and I'm having the inputs go into the, to the finger so you notice it links directly to that bone more or less but it also links to the others and this is just add all this you can just imagine this not existing imagine this P going to this P and this P going to the other P's as well it, that's basically how it would, would work very similar so we've essentially taken this and this and this and this out of the picture you'll notice it works just the same so what are these extra things I have in here <coughs> these extra things are the fingers they're added together this is the main control for all the fingers so it essentially affects every last one of them wait a minute I have to re-enable this Oops, okay, here we go. So that's what that is. It's this object, this object here, ring fingers for all the fingers, so it adds it to it. It sends the output. To essentially all of them. This, If you can imagine this output going straight to every, every single one of them. It'd be just the same. However, what's this? What's this stuff here? If it would work without that, just fine. And it does. What is all this stuff here? This stuff is for these inner rings you see. The, the teal rings here. Basically, just so I can have some difference in the fingers. So if we take a look at that. I can have a little bit more control over how the fingers bend. Now, all I have this thing doing <coughs> is looking at the inputs for both this and the, the control for each individual finger. And the control is for that one axis on this inner control here. And it's just looking at both of them. And it's output one is just input one minus input two. So there's a difference. One is subtracted, one is added. And it just goes to the beginning and the ends accordingly. I mean, I, it's not like I knew exactly what I was doing when I put this together. You have to play with it. you got to mess around with it. And see how it works the way you want it to work. So if I did this, I'd get a little bit different effect. If I get on the right finger. Wait, that was the right finger. That's index. So... It works a little bit differently, but essentially it works the same. So, I mean, it's just, just a matter of what you want. <coughs> so that's that. And there's the eye controls. I'll cover those in the next video.